girls. The worst thing that can happen to us is to be called out for something gross, right? As much as we take care of ourselves, we have all at one point or another been called out for something that completely embarrassed the shit out of us. I've been called out for having some green thing hanging out on my teeth. <laughs> and that was like the worst shit ever. I was so embarrassed, I actually ended up with natural color on my face. None of us ever want to be called out on anything gross. Six gross hygiene mistakes that girls make. Numero uno, not exfoliating your body. As much as many of us hate snakes, we have some things in common. For example, we shed. So if we look at these things on a microscopic level, you will see all these flakes and dead skin flying off our beautiful, perfect, gross bodies. Focus on exfoliating the parts that you expose. And don't forget your armpits. Yes, your armpits. But your armpits have residue and build up for many years of deodorants and chemicals because who doesn't want luminous, glowing, youthful, baby-like butt skin? Numero dos. Scrape that tongue, girl! Yes, I don't need to tell you to brush your teeth. We all brush our teeth, right? You need to buy a scraper that literally scrapes softly and delicately that first layer of buildup of residue on your tongue and therefore you will wake up with beautiful, I don't know what beautiful, but as fresh as that area can be. It will get rid of any of the coffee stains and residue that you have left over, any white stuff. You know, the more I talk about this, the more I freaking gross out. Numero three. Boom that bush. Don't act shy, girl. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Groom that bush down there. We're not in prehistoric times. There's no need to have a wig going on down there, girls. Groom it. Either take a razor and groom the sides and then clip the wig part and make it look pretty and delicate like a bouquet of flowers. Some of us probably prefer a Brazilian wax, a bikini wax, or the idea of a wax sound like a teeth extraction without Novocaine. There's nothing that a pair of razors and a nice weed worker can control. Next, wash your sheets. What the fuck, but really wash your sheets. Every day you come home and yes, you shower and whatnot, but Day after day after day, there's things accumulating in your bed sheets that you don't even want to think about. And I am sure not gonna break it down because I might just throw the F up during this video. Ideally, you want to wash your sheets and pillows once a week, but us real mortals out here that have jobs and multiple jobs and pursuing things every two weeks might suffice next time you are so nice and cozy under your thick fleece like cozy quilt dreaded things lurking in me <laughs> the last gross mistake that girls make trying makeup at sephora ulta or any beauty store you know how many times i've seen girls because <laughs> I'm always at Sephora. Trying on lipsticks, face creams, and eyeshadows that God knows how many other people have tried themselves. Have you thought about that? Gross! There's so many things lurking in there. Germs, E. coli, things I can't even pronounce. I was out with a girlfriend and we went into Sephora because it was our date thing. I wanted to see the new things and we were chatting it up and we were having a good time. I turned around, she's looking in the mirror, trying on some lipstick. I was like, Daisy, act normal. Don't let her know what you're thinking. Girl, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, they could have herpes. They could have gonorrhea. I don't freaking know, but just the idea of knowing that it's been on other lips. Rest assured that was the last time I spoke to my girlfriend. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't be gross. Sound off down below. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you feel like it, like this video. Until the next time. Yeah.